Hey everyone, it's Wednesday here at Mediocre Manor. It's a beautiful Wednesday, it's about 75 degrees, and I'm sitting here with my animals and just trying to think of what to do for today's video um, since this will be day number two. Um, and it's beautiful outside, it's a little bit windy, so I apologize for any sound in the mic. But I thought today would be a good day to take a look at the um, front gate that's all solar powered. We built that about two years ago and then we updated it about a year ago because we were having issues but I'll tell you all about that in a few minutes. Um, and I'm also going to take a quick trip out to the cabin just to check on the solar panels. They should be charged but I just thought I'd take a quick look at it. And um, I know the last time we looked at it it was about 26 volts, 26.2 on that rainy day. So we're going to head out there today. It's been gorgeous, so like I said, I think it's fully charged. And um, so we'll head to the cabin real quick. We'll head over and take a look at Amy's van real quick, and then I'll take you out to the front gate. So stay tuned. We'll go on a little field trip around the farm. Back at the utility shed. And let's check out the batteries today. There it is. Fully charged, folks. 29, well, pretty close. 29.3. Battery is fully dark there, full of energy. Right now we're pulling in three amps. And total voltage here, 29.3. Got the little smiley face, looking good. So, much better than yesterday in the shade. Right, Stella? So now we'll head back and take a look at Amy's van. So today, we pulled that floor up and Amy's looking for rust, right? Did you find any? I mean, it looks like it's on the surface up here. Oh yeah, tiny, tiny like amount. Little pieces of metal or something probably got in there. <coughs> uh, nothing well, major. No, and that's good, right? You were hoping for nothing major. Yeah. So I mean, it won't take me long to fix that, and then. Hi. Hi. I am also removing stuff so that I can put the sound editing now. On the floor. And in the doors. Oh. There's some already, but. Oh, that kind of stuff, yeah. that sound deadening stuff? Interesting. Ooh, somebody farted. He just me to Jake is a big baby. You couldn't jump up on your own? It was blocked. Alright, let's go take a look at the gate. Alright, so we're out here at the front gate, and um, this is it. Like I said, it's gone through a couple different lives well it had one well two previous lives when we moved here it was two cattle gates and those are the with the circular tubing i'll try to show you a picture of i'll try to litter some pic pictures in here of how it used to look but it was just two cattle gates and that's it a chain hung around the two and uh you would just when you came in undo the chain and swing one of the gates open um, it actually wasn't even the main driveway the main driveway was over there but we wanted to block that off and use this so we started coming through the cattle gates Eventually, uh, we wanted to close it up, so we ended up putting just fence boards, the little um, pressure-treated half-inch fence boards, directly onto the cattle gate, and that was the first life that we, uh, well, the first time we uh, changed this situation. And the problem with that is there's a big field right outside, and the wind would just whip across the field and was constantly breaking the gate. So um, last summer, I think it was last summer, we came and we upgraded to this sliding gate. And that's when we called Harry in to specially design, um, basically take our Mighty Mule, I think it was a Mighty Mule, or maybe it was a Ghost Controls, um, one of those Ghost Control gate openers that moves like this, and we had Harry design it to use the same system but sliding. So that's what we're going to show you today. This here is the control when somebody's leaving and they might not have the clicker in their car, they can drive right up to here and hit this button. And when you hit the button, the gate opens. So let's show you how that works. So 
So basically, um, basically this door here slides on the bottom. There's concrete that we poured with a track. Maybe you could zoom up and see this. Um, this concrete here goes about a foot deep and it runs the entire length of the gate so the gate can open and it's got these big steel wheels and then it runs on this track. These wheels have a groove and they run on this track here. Um, up at the top, there, that piece of wood at the top is shaped like a U and there's actually wheels on bearings inside that. I don't know if you can see it up in the corner and that basically just keeps it from tilting out so that it won't swing and fall down and um, we've got these chains just kind of keeping it rigid these are four by fours on each side and these are two by fours and we built this on the back deck Harry and I and then we had to carry it out here and hoist it up and um, these here are six by sixes and then this is a ten foot that's four feet in the ground, and then we had to cut one in half and go up a little further. It's about, I want to say, nine and a half, ten feet tall, all of this. And these were kind of a bitch to get up, and then we supplemented them with this just to kind of keep it square and keep it on there. Um, so, yeah, this can open all the way over, and um, that's basically it. This here is just a fence that helps to keep support and privacy, and then over here we have like a mail system. Um, for two reasons. One, so that the dogs can't escape, but two, um, the postman or the UPS man can come in here and put the packages in here and they'll be protected from the rain. We just used some old, um, now we have a little frog up there, some old roof panels. And that was an afterthought. Um, in order to anchor the wall from wind and everything, we built these, which are, uh, it's about a four by six. Um, in the ground and then we just brace it up and um, we did that here and we did that again in the front. Um, so now I'm going to show you how it's powered. Okay so about 15 feet from the front of the gate or the back of the gate we have mounted this little solar panel on just a regular fence post and some old deck boards. The solar cables run down into the ground we buried them and they run right over here to this battery. which we've got mounted right here. and It's just in a little plastic box to protect it from the rain. Nothing special, it's just a deep cell battery. Um, and then those wires run over here to the control box that basically runs, operates the gate. And this is just a ghost control box. And when you order it, it comes with this arm here and it comes with the keypad and everything. Um, that arm is basically the same as a mighty mule and um, when it's activated, there's a, a rod in here that just spins out slowly and usually it just swings the gate open or closed. Harry designed this program um, setup to make it slide. So he basically turned the control arm on its side. He designed these two spindles. There's all kinds of bearings in here and it's basically the same as a bicycle. Um, so when this thing opens, it turns this chain which spins this gear over here and this there's another gear down here pulls these gears through and that slides the gate open so I'm gonna go hit the power right now and we'll show you how this works Okay, so now we're outside the gate. This is what you might see if you pulled up to the house here. And you've, we've got this Ghost Controls wireless keypad, which I believe came with the program. If you come over here, um, the guest would pull up and then they would put the code in, hit send, and the gate opens. Um, there's also different modes you can use. Party mode, if you're having a bunch of guests over on one day, you can do a temporary code. Um, there's different locks and things like that. I think you can program up to like five or six different codes. Um, like I said, um, the concrete thing you might get a better view of from this angle, you can see 
that we basically just use concrete screws to screw the track into the concrete itself. And if you look over this way, uh, take a walk over there and see, um, show them what the mail carrier sees when they come up. They just walk over there and you can put all their packages and things in there, but they don't really get a view of the property or anything like that. So we're just trying to keep it all private, keep everything dry. All right, so a couple design issues that we had when we started. Um, the main one being, when we turn this on its side, when it would go to open, all of these boards, basically what it's doing is it's pushing back on this and the piston is going forward. And what was happening was even though this wood was just barely moving like a half an inch or so, it was causing it to not be strong enough to open the gate, um, which led to us having to build all these different supports. There's one back here, there's one here, there's some up there, and we basically just really wanted to tighten everything so that there wasn't as much flex when it was trying to open. Um, and that did help. The other thing we dealt with was the angle of this bracket over here. We tried all different things, um, eventually settling on almost a 90 degree angle here. And um, most recently, um, the way that this is attached, the way that this chain is attached to this bracket, which actually came with the whole system, are these little um, bolt, nut and bolts. There's three of them now that go through and they just basically clamp the chain to this bracket. Um, a couple times those have broken. I think we started with just two and on the last visit Harry upgraded to three. Um, and then you can see all the different hole placements that we've tried here also. Um, I think we started with it down here. This was up here and basically it would just allow flex. A little bit of flex. It would flex enough that it wouldn't work. Um, we eventually graduated to two and now with the two and the short amount of distance between this and the chain it actually flexes a lot less. Um, this piece here, this gear, this piece up here, all the gears were custom designed by Harry in his machine shop. So this is not a system you can buy. Um, the idea, you're free to use the idea and do whatever you want, but if you need custom pieces, if, you're, um, if you've got money and you're willing to pay handsomely, Harry will definitely consider custom making you some parts for this. but. Um, You'd have to sweet talk him because he's not really interested in doing that kind of business. But definitely if you're interested in anything about this, the uh, the ratios, the sizes of the gears that he used, or any questions at all, definitely shoot us a um, message and we'll send you some information. This here is just a piece of wood that we had laying around and we put it up here just to help shield it from some rain. And uh, I think that's about it. We did not do much bracing. Um, we were kind of concerned, when we, well I was concerned when we put these in that if, if you, it kind of moves just a little bit because it's so tall. Um, and we do have a brace over there on that side, but we didn't brace anything this way. Um, it hasn't been a problem yet. It's been about a year and the wind just can't compete. These posts are beefy enough I, that they really hold it in there. and uh, Everything together as one unit seems to be pretty strong so far. We haven't had any hurricanes or anything like that yet, but so far so good. Um, the other issue that we're having recently is the little, um, the U-shaped wood up there that the wheel rides in has um, swelled and kind of closed a little bit when it's really wet. And that will kind of pinch those wheels and this is just strong enough to open the gate. If it's under any kind of pressure, if the wood swells and it tightens up at all, um, sometimes it won't open. The other issue is dirt. When it rains a lot, this will all pool up here with water. And um, once the water recedes, there's pine needles and there's dirt and there's leaves and they're all just all over this. And so you've got to come out here and sweep it off before you attempt to use it or it's going to get stuck. So it's a touchy system, but for the most part it works. Um, it was a lot of work, but we kind of got into it slowly. Like I said, we started with the cattle gates and then we just did the fence boards and then we... Um, after having it break down so much over the year we just kind of went all out and did this and it took us two or three weeks I think maybe a good two or three weeks to get this done and it was a lot of work but um, it works now and I think it's a pretty good design so anyways I hope you guys all enjoyed it that's it for today we'll be back tomorrow with another video I'm not sure what the topic will be but um, we'll definitely be back so tune in thanks for watching I'll see you soon